If you're a honeybee, this is your field of dreams. Bees get almost all of their food from flowers. Attracted by the bright colors and sweet smells, the bee thrusts its body and long straw-like proboscis deep inside the flower and sucks up the sugary nectar at the bottom. Pollen, the bee's source of protein, is also on the shopping list. While the bee is gathering nectar, pollen collects on the small hairs of its body. To carry it safely, the bee stows it away in sacks on its hind legs. A bee can carry its own weight in pollen and nectar and still fly, barely. Some food will fuel the bee's own activity, but most will be saved for the communal hive. As soon as they return, the foragers prepare to unload their cargo. Other workers are waiting to help them. A full load of nectar fills nearly half of a bee's abdomen. The foragers bring up the nectar from their stomachs into their mouths. Household bees then suck it out. As the nectar is passed on from one bee to another, it's processed by enzymes in the bee's body. The nectar is then tipped into storage cells. It takes about five days for it to thicken and ripen into honey. When the process is complete, the honey cell is sealed with wax, like a lid on a jar, to be opened when needed. Pollen is stored separately in other cells. Later, it's mixed with honey and used, for the most part, to feed the young. The bees pack it down to make room for the next load and the next. Together, the dark pollen cells and lighter honey cells make up the bee's pantry. The search for nectar and pollen lasts as long as the light does. The flowers are not just being charitable. By luring the bees, they get them to carry pollen from one blossom to another. A flowering plant can't reproduce unless it gets pollen from another flower of the same type. Without bees, most would die. When a scout bee discovers a rich new source of food, it must tell the others how to get there. This is the waggle dance. Pay close attention. To learn the location of the nectar, watch how fast the bee waggles its body. Listen to the sounds it makes. And remember the speed, direction, and a number of patterns in the dance. It's the bee's version of a map. Directions are always given in relation to the sun, to the right of it, the left, or dead ahead.
success at last. Nice nectar. It takes the nectar from five million flowers to make one pint of honey. Each bee may visit hundreds of blossoms in a day and work a 12 hour shift. They make about 10 journeys in a day, with each trip lasting roughly an hour.